You know, when you look at becoming a better person, there are generally these two camps that people fall into. You have the crunchy manifesting camp. I'm just going to think about and manifest bigger boobs. And you have the hustle, grind your life away camp, which is sacrificing all the things you want to do and every Friday night to make your dreams a reality. But in this video, I thought I would bring up some really important points based on a story and an experience I had with a few of my coaching clients. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Milk the Pigeon, a field guide for anyone lost in their 20s on Amazon. Now before we jump in, there's a link right below this video for a free journaling worksheet and a series of journaling exercises that you'll get via email. So if you're looking to design your life going forward and really figure out what your dream life is, check out the link below this video and go download that. So let's talk about this idea of where manifesting lets you down. Because you guys know me, I'm no BS, I just care about what works to reach my own full potential and live a better life holistically in all the various pieces of life. And so I'm always stress testing the ideas that I find from ancient authors, from modern authors, from social media. I'm testing them to really see what I think works and what is really BS. Because if you lose a year of your life doing something that doesn't work, that really sucks when you look back at the end of it. Now, when I was coaching a lot of people in my 20s, I had a personal development coaching based business and I was doing a lot of one to one coaching. And after coaching a few hundred people, actually, honestly, after coaching 10 people, I started to notice a really clear trend in the difference between the people who made their dreams happen to some degree and those who didn't. And the difference was very obvious and not so subtle at all. The big difference between the people that ended up having some of their dreams come true was that they had a bias more towards taking action, even if they were confused, even if they didn't know if it was the right move, even if they were worried if it was the wrong move and they were going to lose a year of their life. They still had a bias towards action versus other people are the majority of the people really before coming to get coaching from me who were great dreamers. They had a few ideas they were excited about. They honestly ranged from having too many ideas to not enough ideas, but the one commonality was that they didn't take enough action on any of those ideas. And so I thought we would talk about this in this video here today because something I can guarantee will make you make that progress, will help you make that progress towards the life that you want is actually taking action. And I know it's unsexy. I know it is boring, right? It's boring to tell people to actually do something but let's talk about why that's so important. So let's talk about three scenarios, right? Three goals that you may have. One may be writing a book. One may be getting your dream body, getting fit. And one may be graduating college. Now, do you think that those three things can occur without you doing anything? You know, a la the whole manifesting movement. Can you write a book without you doing anything? Sure, if you are a celebrity or you have... 30, 50, or $100,000 to hire a ghostwriter, you can. What about getting fit? I mean, if you get plastic surgery, sure. I don't know if you get your dream body from truly no exercise, but yeah, maybe plastic surgery would be one step in that direction. What about graduating college? Could you do that for actual no work? I mean, yeah, maybe it's an easy college. Maybe you cheat and you have people, other friends do your homework. You have the best tutors, the tutors kind of finesse your homework a little bit. When it comes to this promise of just raise your vibe and your life will magically manifest, well, no one is saying, quote, raise your vibe, but then don't spend every day writing your book or don't spend every day training and playing piano because that's what you want to be the best at or raise your vibe, but then don't take any action towards going to the gym or eating healthier, changing what goes in your body or to raise your vibe and then not show up for classes in college and not go home and study a couple hours a day. You know, this is like that missing piece of the narrative of the equation that The Secret did so much damage to people about because there's a certain age in life where people realize, you know, I thought I would be farther by now or I thought my dreams would have happened by now or I thought that goal, the six-figure career, the person and the kids by 32, whatever it was, I thought it was going to happen by now. But it didn't. And it's a really disappointing, sad feeling when that happens. And what I personally see so often is that people just aren't doing anything. You know, if I had to put my money on any one thing, it would be, what is the thing you're dedicating one hour a day to 
that's going to advance you in the direction of your goal or your dream. I had a mentor, a medical mentor, and he said to me, you know, it's good to know how to go with the flow. It's good to know how to ride your gut hunches and your intuitions and when to allow things to flow effortlessly. But guess what? Sometimes in life, shit is just hard and it's uphill and you have to swim against the current. And if you're used to everything being flowy and easy and you don't have to do any work, your parents got you through whatever, then when life gets really hard, you're not going to have the kind of character that can get you through those hard times. And so there are, of course, things in life that will just happen without much effort. But there's a lot that won't. And I'm all about optimizing the chances of everything happening. So why not combine both? And so I wanted to leave you with this idea that if there's any one reason you may be disappointing yourself, it's because you aren't taking daily action towards that goal or that dream. And you're expecting, through wishful thinking, this magic to happen. If it's working for you, awesome. But if it's not, maybe it's time to do something. All right, you guys, that is my uh, little rant for today. Again, check out the link below this video. There's a free journaling worksheet to help you plan out how to get your life together and plan out your dream life going forward for this year. So check it out down there below and I'll catch you in the next videos. Thank you.